it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking spring serums. Spring has sprung. We are definitely in the full swing of the season and you may be seeing some changes happening on your skin. I know I definitely am. As I shared in my spring swaps video, you know, spring can be a challenging season where my combination skin is fluctuating. You may also be seeing some changes on your skin like an increase in congestion, acne, maybe inflammation, sensitivity, redness, unevenness, dullness, maybe even more oil. That's what today's video is all about. It's all about uh, serums that may help address certain concerns that you have for your skin in springtime. And hey, if you're looking for even more spring, warm weather, hydrating types of serums for the season, check out last year's video all about really juicy hydrating serums because there's some really great options in there that might be beneficial for your skin in this season right now. All right, let's jump into these spring serums. Give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. First up, I'm from Licorice Soothing Ampule. Now this is gonna be best for those who are looking to brighten up their skin or soothe their skin. And I think that this is gonna be suitable for all skin types, but it's going to be very good for those who also deal with sensitivity and who have acne prone skin. So I'm from is using a 73% Licorice Root Extract Exome. Yeah, this one's a little tricky because you're like, oh, 73% of licorice root extract. That's not exactly what they're using here. They're using the exome, which is basically a process that allows them to really isolate the active compounds found in the licorice plant. So those active compounds, I'm gonna put them right on the screen now. These are actually the biologically active compounds that are most responsible for the anti-inflammatory benefits of licorice root, which you might be familiar with, as well as that skin brightening effect that it can have. So they're not just using that whole plant extract, but they're really kind of isolating the very beneficial parts that work well for our skin in this um, exome or maybe complex, if you will. It's a very specific type of extraction. So it's a really simple formula here. Uh, they're using some panthenol and sodium hyaluronic to bring some hydration to the formula, but they're also using beta citocerol, which is actually a kind of plant form of cholesterol. So it has a similar benefit. Uh, it is a lipid that helps to support the moisture barrier and also helps to hold and hug hydration into the skin. So it's very skin strengthening, um, but very beneficial if you're looking for a little extra hydration in your skincare routine as well. So the texture, it's very thin, it's very runny, it's very watery, but surprisingly it is very hydrating. Yeah, I was surprised because it was so thin. I was like, this is going to feel like nothing, right? Um, it does not disappear off of the skin. It is very thin. It's very breathable, lightweight, but there's some deep hydration to this I was not expecting. It's a very nice drink of water type of serum. Now, I think this will perform well for a majority of skin types, but I think the skin concern that this addresses best, I think, is acne prone skin. This has a soothing and anti-inflammatory benefit that I think is particularly good for acne. You know, it doesn't have the type of soothing where it's like, oh, my skin feels itchy and irritated and raw, and I put this on and it's like, ah, there's a little bit of that. It's not the best. Uh, I will address that later in the video, but uh, for my sensitive skin that can go through irritation in the springtime, this wasn't the most relieving in that sense, but it was actually very soothing for inflammation, redness, pimples, you know, that type of inflammation on the skin where your skin looks angry um, and maybe it doesn't feel quite as good either. Licorice as an ingredient is very good at soothing that inflammation, which is what takes down the redness. It takes down the, the swelling and the pain. And that's why, you know, it can actually improve the look of your complexion when you are dealing with some, some bumpy red inflamed congestion on your skin. Licorice root can really calm a lot of that down. It does also have a brightening benefit to it. I will say with this serum, I didn't notice it completely. I think it's the type of serum where you really have to consistently use it long term. You'll be like, hey, my skin looks healthier. It looks more lit from within. It looks more even toned. But I think because of that strong anti-inflammatory benefit, if you have the type of acne prone skin, I do, where you get the inflammation, you get the dark spot afterwards because the inflammation just triggers a melanin response in your skin. So now you have this brown or dark mark, right? I think that it helps in that 
sense because it lessens the inflammation, which lessens the damage, which, which lessens that um, melanin response, right? The darkness on the skin. So it will help with what causes the darkness, but it will also have like a gentle, just like um, a skin uh, complexion brightening kind of benefit to it as well. By Wish Trend Blue Oasis Aloe Hydrating Serum. Mm, doesn't that sound like a vacation in just the title alone? Like, goodness, I like was taken away to an island there for a minute, Blue Oasis. All right, the benefit of this serum is definitely going to be a drink of deep hydration for the skin. And I think this is gonna be best for the majority of skin types again, but especially those who are dealing with dehydration because that benefit is lots of hydration. And they're achieving that with 70% of aloe polysaccharides. So this isn't just the extract of the aloe plant. And in fact, by Wish Trend actually says that they have decided to not just do a full aloe extract because it actually can contain compounds in it that are irritating for sensitive folks. And you know, if you have sensitive skin, you know the story with plant extracts, right? There's a lot that goes into the plant, right? And so they're taking all those components and extracting it. And sometimes there can be trace elements of fragrance compounds or other irritating substances that um, are left in the extract and if you're sensitive you just don't quite know what's there so they haven't taken the whole aloe plant but they've actually isolated the specific aloe polysaccharides um, much like the licorice you know um, ampule they're really targeting um, the most beneficial part or really targeting the benefit that they want to deliver in the serum through the extract in the ingredient itself. So polysaccharides are actually water binding um, ingredients. They really help to hydrate the skin. They have some antioxidant um, activity to them. They're very beneficial for healthy skin um, and can be very hydrating, especially if we're taking it from the aloe plant. So it's binding all that aloe hydration into your skin. Another very straightforward kind of ingredients list here, we have the usual suspects like sodium hyaluronic, panthenol, and glycerin to really aid that aloe hydration hydration and that's really the point of view of this serum it really is just about giving your skin that drink of water so this is a thin texture but it's a little bit more gel like where the licorice root ampule was more watery uh, in my opinion there's a little bit more of a gel like quality to this but it's still very thin um, and uh, very light wearing on the skin but ooh, it bursts into hydration this feels so so good especially if you do have dehydrated skin you know that like hydration needs to get a little bit deeper it can't just sit at the top of your skin and hydrate on top. It's going to get in there. And this is a serum that gets in there. Really refreshing, kind of a cooling type of sensation. Really a, a nice relieving hydration. Not sticky. Um, sometimes hydrating serums can get a little funky on top. This really absorbs in very, very nicely. Not sticky, not tacky. And there's no moisture here. This is a very straightforward, simple type of serum, right? It is just about hydrating your skin. And there's nothing wrong with simple. You know what I'm saying? It's, there's nothing wrong with one benefit to something. I think we always want like all of it. But if you really do lack hydration, if you really are suffering with dry and tight skin and you want to relieve that symptom, this is a serum that will bring relief to the skin with all of that hydration. If you're looking to just kind of keep your skin in balance and you don't want anything too heavy, maybe springtime is a very warm time for you or maybe your oil production is ramping up and you really got to like keep your skincare very low light, this would um, be a great option, right? Simple is not bad, but I want to be clear that this isn't going to brighten your skin. It's not going to exfoliate your skin. It's not going to treat acne. Um, it's not going to bring a lot of like antioxidants uh, to the party. I mean, polysaccharides do have some antioxidant um, activity, but they're not strong, potent antioxidants, right? Um, you might see that this helps like relieve your skin if your skin is irritated due to being dehydrated. That lack of water can create some inflammation in your skin, but it's not targeting the inflammation, it's targeting the dehydration. So just trying to be very clear because this type of serum is like perfect for the right person, but could be disappointing if you're expecting more than just that one benefit. For just hydration alone, it is a beautiful drink of water on a hot day. I think something, you know, not just for spring, but something that could easily work into the very hot weather come summertime when you need to relieve your skin without any weight. I'm from Maglore 
serum. This is gonna be best to relieve inflammation and reduce redness on the skin. And that's what's really gonna be best for those who are suffering with um, irritation on the skin, sensitivity, reactive skin that is also um, very red. Maybe it is affecting how your complexion looks. It's very uneven. This is that soothing serum that I was talking about before that's really gonna relieve irritation. I'm From is using 57% of mugwort extract, but just like the other two serums that we've talked about, they are claiming a special extraction. This ain't your old mugwort extraction. They actually have called it a Phytoactimax extraction. Um, so the explanation behind this made up word, right, is that they're actually um, doing a specialized extraction process that helps to separate the excessive chlorophyll within the mugwort extract itself, um, which is kind of not super duper beneficial for skincare. So when they take the excessive chlorophyll out, they're left with a slightly, for lack of a better word, a, a, light, a slightly more pure extract that's going to contain a little bit more of the biologically active compounds in uh, mugwort. So let's talk about mugwort benefits, right? It's very, very, very anti-inflammatory. That's why it's so beneficial for sensitive folks who have very reactive skin that can get very inflamed and itchy and irritated, but it's also extremely beneficial for acne prone folks too, because it can really take down, as we mentioned earlier, the redness, the swelling, the inflammation of the pimple to just kind of help ease that healing process. Because it can reduce inflammation, it can also help to reduce that inflammatory redness that we experience on the skin during those types of skin episodes as well. So sometimes when my skin is feeling really um, sensitive, it can look very red, kind of blotchy, a little dull and uneven using mugwort. This is why I fell in love with it so many years ago when I was going through a really rough uh, kind of acceptance period, I feel like with my sensitive skin. My skin was getting more sensitive as I got older, but it was kind of like this like tug and pull where I was like, no, my skin's not sensitive. Um, I don't want to treat it that way. And finally, I had to accept that. But mugwort was an ingredient that really helped me to do that because it really soothed that irritation and sensitivity, but also made my skin look a little bit better too. Because when your skin's not happy inside, it will show on the outside. Mugwort is a very gentle type of ingredient, similar to centella, that helps to um, help with this, the health of your skin, help to reduce the inflammation, the irritation, but also give you a little bit more of a benefit where your skin's gonna look a lot healthier. Now, they're really leaning into the anti-inflammatory benefits of mugwort with this serum. They've also included turmeric extract, which is a, a really potent anti-inflammatory ingredient used in skincare. And they're also using garlic extract, which was uh, surprising. <laughs> I did not know that garlic was beneficial in skincare as, again, an anti-inflammatory ingredient. So we're building up in texture here, but it's still very light. We have a hydrating gel-like texture here, really good absorbency, a nice amount of hydration. And this one does have just a little kiss of balance. Now I'm being very particular, I'm splitting hairs here, trying to give you the most descriptive um, like texture as possible while also trying to tell you how these might uh, differ from the other things that we've talked about. So I'm going to say there's a little bit of balance here, but I still think this is appropriate for all skin types. This is not a heavy serum. This is not something that sits on top of your skin. You might just feel it a little bit in the slip, but it's got really good absorbency and it still feels incredibly breathable on the skin. There is a very strong soothing um, effect that you get with, with mugwort. And that's what I was talking about with licorice root. Yes, it's anti-inflammatory, but it's not necessarily, and it's soothing right but it's not necessarily the type of soothing where you're like ah if you have deep irritation in your skin I personally find mugwort is the ah relief ingredient over licorice licorice have, has its moment it has its uses um, but this is definitely the one if you have a lot of irritation I would suggest looking at this product or something that does contain mugwort because it does have a strong soothing effect um, but it also is um, an extract that can have a lot of amino acids it has antioxidants. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals that really just support healthy skin. I think that's also where some of that redness reduction and just kind of bringing back your healthy glow can come from too. It just really helps support healthy skin.
skin, relieves irritation, it's soothing, it's uh, gently hydrating as well. They've really created a formula um, that leans into the hydration without like a lot of moisture. I think that it will work for a majority of skin types, but especially if you are suffering with allergies or your skin just gets like sensitive around this time of year, you want that soothing relief with some uh, redness reduction, definitely, definitely consider this one. Toradin Balanceful Sika Calming Serum. Now this is going to be best if your skin in springtime tends to get very imbalanced. Maybe you're over producing oil or maybe you're feeling a little bit dehydrated or maybe you're feeling a little bit of both. Um, this is going to be a good serum for you and I think especially, um, you know, really any skin type will enjoy this, but I think especially if you are acne prone and congestion prone, especially due to that imbalance in the skin. Um, this is going to be particularly helpful for you because it does have a very light chemical exfoliation to it. So there's three main benefits to this serum. It's all about soothing the skin. They're using um, centella as well as the four active compounds of the centella plant. We've talked a lot about biologically active compounds, right? So there's four in centella that bring a lot of soothing anti-inflammatory benefits to the skin. The second uh, point of view of this serum and benefit that you're going to get is deep hydration. Uh, they're focusing in on panthenol and seven types of hyaluronic acid to really rush the skin with hydration, which will help to address the imbalance, especially with an overproduction of oil. Sometimes it's due to a lack of hydration deep within the skin. And then the third benefit that you're going to get with this is some light chemical exfoliation. They are using LHA, which is kind of a new generation BHA. It's much gentler than salicylic acid, but it has a similar exfoliation mechanism. It is oil soluble, which means that it exfoliates inside of your pore lining. And if you are acne prone or congestion prone, that's where everything is starting, right? It's inside of your pore where all that excessive oil is mixing with the excessive dead skin cells. Uh, getting stuck inside and then creating the clog, right? Which can then go on to be an inflamed acne or just like a, a really um, bumpy, congested uh, type of texture on the skin. This has a really appealing, fresh, hydrating gel texture. It feels so good on the skin, especially when the, the temperatures start to get a little bit warmer and you want like lighter, but still really hydrating skincare. I love the gel texture of this. Sinks into the skin really nicely, really good amount of hydration, no stick for having seven types of hyaluronic acid. I'm never sure how that's going to manifest in the texture because sometimes it can be almost moisturizing when you have a lot of hyaluronic acid, right? Um, while they have multiple forms here, they've balanced it out with the other hydrating ingredients, especially the panthenol, and they really leaned into more of a watery, um, plumping uh, type of gel texture, not the really balancing, almost moisturizing, kind of thick, sit on top of your skin type of gel texture. I think just generally speaking, if you are um, dealing with congestion, especially if you know it's because your skin's a little bit imbalanced, you need to get that oil under control, but you don't want to strip your skin, dry it out. You still want to give your skin a lot of that beautiful hydration and just a kiss of very gentle um, exfoliation. Some people will ask, you know, is this a serum I could use every single day? It really does depend on your skin. Um, I think it could be. I don't think there's any reason why you couldn't, except for if your skin is very sensitive. This may be something you want to work in a few times a week rather than every single day. Every single day could be too much for my sensitive skin. Plus, I also use other um, exfoliating types of actives. Every single day would be too much. But like I said, for certain um, circumstances or as kind of like maintenance and upkeep when I'm going through a lot of sweat and things like that, that's when I'll smartly work this into my routine for my skin comfort. If you want to use this every day and it feels good, go for it. Um, but you can also use this um, as needed or smartly worked throughout the week for that, like I said, that gentle kiss of that exfoliation without pushing your skin too far. Bring Green Sarah Healer 4.3% Repair Serum. Now this is gonna really help with barrier strengthening as well as fighting pollution, allergens, and irritants in the air. And it's gonna be best for those who have sensitive skin or those folks who are struggling with dehydration. The ingredients of this serum really uh, do address three things with the skin. It definitely focuses on uh, hydrating the skin and really 
soothing the symptoms of dehydration. It also focuses on strengthening your skin barrier, which is actually the cause. Like if your barrier is not strong, it's actually causing the dehydration in your skin. So we're getting the symptoms, but also the root cause. And then it also um, is providing really strong antioxidant protection, um, not just from the aggression of the sun, but also environmental aggressors like pollution, um, or as I was mentioning earlier, you know, allergens in the air that can affect how our skin feels and affect the health of our skin and the, the look and quality of our skin. So the way that they're doing that is they are using ceramide NP, which is, you know, that really beautiful lipid. It makes up 50% of our skin barrier and helps our skin retain and hold on to hydration. We have a hydration binding sugar molecule, betaine, and this is bringing a, a nice amount of hydration to the skin in addition to the ectoin that they're using. Now, ectoin is a potent antioxidant, so it just protects our skin. Different antioxidants, um, you know, specialize in different areas. They have special talents, right? Now, ectoin's a special talent besides that general skin protection is that it's particularly helpful for protecting against pollution. So if you are living in a big city and you can feel that your skin gets a little bit irritated from being exposed to that pollution, this would be the type of antioxidant that would be smart to build into your routine. But it has a third special talent and that is hydrating the skin. Ectoin is amazing at not only hydrating your skin, but also helping your skin hold on and retain hydration. This has a cream gel texture and in the grand scheme of this video and the five products we're talking about it definitely is the thickest the thickest serum that we're talking about but like I said in the grand scheme of things it's not actually all that thick or moisturizing quite honestly um, but there is um, a lot of hydration when you put this on your skin it floods your skin with deep replenishing hydration oh it feels amazing i do have dehydrated skin so just know like this is really relieving that deep within my skin it feels awesome that little kiss of moisture just that little bit of lipid that ceramide np in here helps to just gently hug that deep hydration into the skin it's not oily it's not greasy it's not even all that creamy quite honestly there's just that little bit of balance that just kind of tucks in that hydration so a little bit more plump right Right? a little bit more of a fullness to this serum, but it's just not heavy or overwhelming. I think folks who have combination skin are going to most appreciate this, um, you know, beyond just uh, suffering with dehydration. If you have oily skin, you might like this, but you also might not. That little kiss of balance, that little bit more plumpness may not be your cup of tea. So really key in on these words that I'm using because just saying it's good for oily skin because it's light is not enough, right? Oily skin is diverse and there's all different types of things that are turn ons and turn offs for you when it comes to how something feels on your skin, right? So uh, it may be appropriate for you. It's not, like I said, greasy, oily, creamy, or heavy. It's definitely a very light take on ceramides, um, but it may be a little bit too full, if you will, for your skin. It just depends on what you like. For my combination skin, especially that's overproducing oil, this is the right choice. This is the right switch out, especially from some of the more creamier types of things that I usually like in the cold weather. This is that perfect substitution. It actually steps in really nicely because it keeps my barrier really strong, but it delivers that extra dose of hydration I need in this season without the extra weight and I really appreciate that. I picked this up actually quite a few months ago um, and I've been waiting for spring to really like focus in on it and it has become I think for this year my favorite serum this spring. So I'm curious if you have a favorite serum at this moment even if it's not spring where you live let me know what you're currently crushing on in the comments below. If this video helped you out and you haven't hit subscribe yet please come join our community I'd be so honored to have you here especially if you love skincare and k-beauty because that's what I talk about. Turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. I love you so much. Thanks for being here with me today, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.